Hi, this is amazing, Ken. So I'm going to share with you how to kind of like merging debit and credit into a single column, right? So yes, this is a Power Query. So you select the items, go to Data tab, choose from table and range. Okay, so to merge this two, right? Um, kind of right is that, but I actually want to create a new column and put the debit and credit in the shop. You know that what I mean, right? So that's the credit is one thousand five hundred, so it's going to be that layer, that row, and for debit is one one three, and credit is zero. So it will be a debit and then five one three. In the shop, you know, transform. Go to transform and click on pivot column. This is what I mean. See, credit 1500, debit 513. Uh, let's go back to the earlier step. Just uncheck this. See, credit 1500, debit 513, right? And so on, right? So, if for credit, uh, if it's for credit, we want to times negative one for debit, we want to remain, right? What can we do, right? Wherever we have this. So we're going to create a new column. Click on add a column, custom column. Over here we type if attribute, if the attribute is equal to credit, then we take the value times negative one. Else, take the value. Okay. So if the if this row is credit, then we take this value times negative one become for one thousand five hundred become negative one thousand five hundred. So let's go to the next row. If it's a if it's not equal to that bit, uh, credit, then it's they will actually just take the same with my value. So click OK. This is what I mean, right? So once you've done this, right, you might want to delete this column and so on, right? So once you're done, go to home, click close and load, and that is that simple, right? So in this video, you learn what it means to unpeeled um, columns. Right, two column become a single column. See that? Right? Thank you. And remember, you are amazing, right? Think amazing, believe amazing, and you can be um you can do amazing things.